Hello and welcome to the next video in the What Is series. In this video, we're going to be talking about auto. Well, the MPIM package is known as run auto, but in our system, we gave it the variable name auto. And you'll see it around, and it's a way we use to control flow of asynchronous program or asynchronous functions in our program. And you'll see, like in the server.mean.js file, you'll see we use auto, we pass it, connect to the DB, the server, or at least we do here at the very end of the setup step, and we run these two uh, asynchronously, and it runs which one ever is uh, in best to put in order first. And we, we know this because if we come over to the package, it talks all about it. The best, uh, determine the best order for running asynchronous functions. Now, with that being said, we can also control the flow of how it all goes. And we'll look down at this example so that when you're going through the code, you can get a better understanding of what this doing. So in this example, they have get data and make folder. And the fact that get data and make uh, folder are just functions, this tells me that they're asynchronous. It tells me either of these can run in any order, just run them. So great, they run. Well, next that we see is a write folder. And that is an array. Instead of just a function, it's an array with saying get data and make folder, which tells us that, hey, before you can run this function, you must get the data and make the folder. Keep going down, you'll see email link, which says an array again with write file before the function comes, which tells me then, hey, the write file must happen before I will email the link. And then lastly, uh, the end up the callback with the results or the error and this is a pretty straightforward example but this is uh, exactly kind of how we use it uh, we will get the data we'll do certain things we'll wait on something before we write and then before we do the final email or final task uh, we will just double check that everything's done and then continue forward so this is just a quick uh, quick example to go over You'll see it more in our code. We'll try to give better, we, we're trying to give good names to it so it's, it helps understand. But understanding how this works is the first step. So come check out npm run auto at npmjs.com. Check it out. Uh, it will help you a lot uh, become a better programmer. It'll help you interact with our system and some of the things we do. If you got any questions, feel free to reach out. Oh. Keep forgetting about the social media stuff. <laughs> you can find us on social media. If you got any questions, actually, please leave a comment and we will do our best to help you out.